Hi everyone, thank you, thank you for tuning in to our Word of Hope session. As we uh, go into the Word, but before that, let us just worship God.
and sister in Christ. You know, when things appear to be their worst, negative report on virus death, global recession, you know, we tend to get a bit negative. Our nature tendency is to get down, feeling bad, you know, and what we tend to is that we tend to miss out on what God may be doing in our situation. You know, to me, when I find myself in these negative places, my goal is to reprogram my mind to fend off the negative, okay? And say that the Lord, He is my God in whom I trust. Just as the writer in Psalms 91 said, you know, I just want to read up Psalms 91 verses 1 and 2. He says, He who dwell in the shadow of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him I will trust. My God, in Him I will trust. You know, again, Proverbs 3, 5 says that, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not unto your own understanding. We are bombarded every day by negative report. We need to reprogram our mind with the Word of God. You know, interesting that these two verses, there are four names of God mentioned. First thing, as you go through, you say, He who dwell in the secret place, the first name is the Most High, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty, which is the second name. I will say of the Lord, the third name mentioned here, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God. The final name of God, in Him I will trust. Now, when you ask yourself, why in two of these verses, the name of God is mentioned differently? Four aspects at the name of God. You know, this morning, I just, just wanted to share with you, you know, as we go through the first name, it said, the most high, the Hebrew word is Elon, okay? E-L-Y-O-N. What is it suggests a supreme monarch, one who is elevated above all things. Now, if you know, if he if he's our God who is elevated against all things, nothing is impossible with God. You know, it's first mentioned in the scripture in Genesis 14, verse 18, describing Abraham's encounter with the king or the priest, you know, of uh, Melchizedek. It, it says that then Melchizedek, king of Salem, bought our bread and wine. He was priest of God most high. And we know that uh, here uh, Melchizedek gives us a picture of Christ in several ways. And it's fitting that this story contains the first use of the name of God in Scripture. So verse 1 tells us that our God is the one who protects us, who dwell in the shadow of the Most High. You know, to us, we need to look at who God is. The mighty God, right? Else, when we go through, do we dwell in our own doubts in this time with all the words bombarding to us? Or we say, He is the God of our Most High. Are we dwelling in the shelter of the Most High God who promised to protect and to keep us? We need to take a time to pause. Yes, the situation out there is grim, but it will not last forever. You know, I, I still remember our senior pastor saying, you know, everything has an expiry date. If we look at the situation with both SARS and MERS, everyone will say, looking out so that, you know, scientists can find a vaccine. 
SARS came, MERS came, there was no vaccine. But yet, we see that the virus is able to subside. I believe God can do great things. Even as the psalmist keep on to say, you know, the second name, God Almighty. As we go through, he said God Almighty, right? So the mighty, Almighty here talks about the, the Hebrew word is El Shaddai. Suggests a mighty, powerful God who is strong beyond our imagination. It's simply not about the capability of supply. Our, he's able to do supply all the needs. I know when times, difficult times like this go through, you know, we are worried about our job security, we are worried about finances, but we need to trust in Him because He is God Almighty. He's the one, we read through our Bible, He's able to part the great sea, He's the one spoke and then comes to be. So we need to focus on God. God Almighty. Remember, no needs that cannot be met by Him. No circumstances that He cannot overcome. And the third name that the psalmist mentioned is the Lord. It's a personal name. Revealed to Moses in Genesis, sorry, uh, revealed to Moses in Exodus 62 about the burning bush when Moses saw the burning bush and asked God what is your name and God said I am who I am now church we are so starting a series on the name of God sorry I think we are, we are starting a name the series on who I am so I do encourage you all to be and join the seven name of I am in Jesus' name. Okay? So do, do log in for our weekend services. Now this is a personal name of God. And we know that to the Jew, it's such a, to just to mention the name of God as Yahweh is so sacred. But we know that our God is a personal God. Our God is relatable to us, to seek us. You know, God knows every hair on our head, every joy and fear of our hearts. Desire us to know Him as an intimate friend. You know, God wants us to draw that intimate relationship with Him. And this God who created the universe and all it contains is just not a far off a noble being but a father, a redeemer and a friend. And the fourth name here they mention is that my God. Hebrew is Elohim. My God. This name first appeared at the beginning of the Bible in Genesis 1.1. It said in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. So when Elohim occurred in the scripture, translate as God. You know, in Greek, it is Theo, and that's where we got the word theology. It means the one who is the first or the creator. So it is fitting that this is how God is referred in Genesis 1 1 as the creator who is one. You know, as we go through this morning devotion, in this two verse itself, we can see the beauty of God. His way are high than our ways, yet we can speak to Him as a friend. I just want to remind you that if you can, just meditate on this word. As you go through Psalms 91, verses 1 and 2, He who dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I will trust. 
trust in the Lord with all your heart and lead not into one understanding. Have a blessed day. God bless you all.